It's time for story. This one. Look. Look at these little cats. They're walking on two legs and holding hands. Oh, this book is called Lily's Secret by Miko Imai, who also wrote another story that's wonderful called Little Lumpty. I read it on a different day. You might remember. Let's find out which cat is Lily and what could the secret be? Hmm. Here she is walking along. She's holding a plate of something. Hmm. What do you think? Little cookies? Let's see about Lily's secret. Oh, look at this picture. I want to go there. I want to go visit Lily at her house. It starts like this. Lily was a little cat who lived in a little house in a little town. I have to show you this. Look, she has a little teapot. She's made herself some tea and it looks like those are the cookies on the table. She has little rocking chairs to sit on and it looks like another cat is walking along. Oh, the little cat was coming over. It says, one afternoon she was having tea when her new neighbor, Coco, stopped by and helped herself to a mouse biscuit. That's what was on the plate. So, Lily, did I see you with Joey last night? Yes, said Lily. We went for a walk. Hmm. Lily has her book, too. She's really relaxing. Oh, really? said Coco. Has he noticed your funny paws? Uh-oh. Funny paws. Hmm. Let's look more closely. So Coco's paws are all together and Lily's paws look more like a mitten. You know, in real life, sometimes cats are born with extra toes. But of course, if someone has something about them that looks different, you shouldn't say anything about it. It might hurt their feelings. That can be an inside thought. You can think about it and then maybe ask your grown up if you're curious. But if someone looks different, you shouldn't just tell them that. <gasps> oh no, look at Lily's face. <sighs> How's she feeling? She's looking at her paws. Oh, Coco grabbed the last biscuit and left. I think Coco is realizing that she hurt Lily's feelings and she doesn't know how to make it better. So she's just running away. Oh, I wish they would talk it out. Maybe Coco was embarrassed. Maybe she didn't know what to do. Lily felt terrible. No one had ever said anything about her paws before. Suddenly, they seemed really big and ugly. Oh no, I don't want her to think that about something on her own body. I think she's so cute, don't you? Oh no. She wanted to cover them up. So she's looking around for something to cover them. She tries covering them in yarn, covering them in paper, covering them in socks, covering them in ribbons. Oh, but nothing seemed to work. Oh, this is making my heart hurt. I hope this story has a happy ending. That evening, Joey came over to her house. That's who Coco was asking about. 
It's beautiful outside, Lily. Let's go for another walk. Oh no, thought Lily. How will I hide my paws? <sighs> she doesn't want Joey to think she looks different. Mm. Hi, Joey, she said. Hello, Lily. Don't you want to hold my paw tonight? Oh, dear. So she went out of her house, but look, she's holding her paws behind her back. I guess the last time they must have held paws. Like we saw on the cover, right? Lily didn't know what to say. She shook her head sadly. And then she saw Coco. They're walking along. There's Coco. And there's some other cats. It looks like only cats live in this town. And it looks like they walk around like people and live in houses like people and shop in stores like people. Hmm. Hi, Lily, said Coco. Lily was sure Coco had told the other cats her secret about her paws. What if she told Joey, too? <gasps> Lily couldn't stand it anymore. She ran away, crying. Oh. You can see how powerful words can be. She really can't stop thinking about it. She ran and she ran as fast as she could. Oh, look, Joey is following her. Joey is not going to let her be alone while she's sad. Joey's a good friend. There are lots of little details in the pictures of this book. Like here, the handles of these doors are shaped. They have cat ears. And there's a little board that says the show is about a cat. Some of the other things have cat shapes, like Lily's chairs earlier in the story. What's the matter? Joey asked. Look how he's caring for her. He's sitting really closely and he's looking at her face and trying to look at her eyes to show her that he cares about her and wants to hear what she has to say. Coco was going to tell you about my paws. She said they were different, and I didn't want you to know about them. Don't be silly, Lily. I've always known about your paws. I like them. Besides, you never said anything about my crooked tail. Look. There's something a little bit different about Joey, too. And I don't think Lily even noticed. Everyone looks a little bit different from everyone else, right? And she didn't even think about it. If she did notice, she probably would have kept it on the inside. Look at the end pages. They have little teapots and mouse cookies like we saw earlier in the book. This is one of those books that if you open up the whole thing, you can see the whole picture of Lily and Joey and the walk that they went on. Oh, I'm so glad that story had a happy ending because it's so hard to watch Lily be so sad. You know, if someone says something to you, about you being different, that might happen one day. You can just tell yourself, well, this is something different about me, but I like it. Someone pointing it out doesn't have to hurt your feelings that much. <sighs> Poor Lily. I'm really glad that Joey was her friend, and he loved her no matter how she looked. It's good to find friends that love you no matter what. 
Thanks for coming to Story Today. I'll see you again on another day. Bye.